الكتاب اللي ابن روح القدس الواحد مين خرسوس نستي المسيح قام كريست از ريزن هاو بيوتيفول وي ستيل ليفينج ذس بيوتيفول دايز ذا 50 دايز افتر ذا ريزركشن تو جيف اس هوب ذات ذير از انذر لايف ذير از بيتر لايف تو سيليبريت ذا ريزركشن اوف ذا داي افري داي ان اور لايف اند تودايز جوسبل اكشلي وات جات مي ذا فيرست sentence actually or the first verse of today's gospel said let not your heart be troubled i think the biggest struggle that all of us are struggling in our life we are a warrior we are a warrior and sadly also the society around us even the media teach us or help us to be warrior and i tell you something this morning i was reading the gospel this morning i said let not her, let, let your heart be troubled as soon as i get to my car About 5.30 in the morning, I turn my car, I'm coming here to the church. I listen to the radio. First thing I listen to one of the radio stations, say the three things you must be worried about it today. I said, look the difference. The gospel is telling me, let not your heart be troubled. Here you go, the radio station, first thing I listen to it, honestly. Three things you have to worry about today. And they start to list the three things that you should worry about and pay attention to it, what's happening around you today. For the society, actually, even the media, Teach us, you know what, feeding us, we should be worried. Too many things, you have to worry about it. After I listened to the radio station, honestly, I turned it off. I said, you know what, I have enough to worry about, so that's not the... So it's too early in the morning to listen to three things you have to worry about. For sure, he was talking about the traffic and many things, but you know what? Today's gospel is a good message to all of us. I think message much needed to each one of us. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. لا تضطرب قلوبكم ولا ايه؟ رسالة جميلة، كلمة جميلة قوي. تريح الواحد. يعني جاست كده الواحد يسمع العبارة دية لا تضطرب قلوبك تجزع يخلي الواحد ايه كده عنده سلام. Give him peace. And today actually after the Lord said that let not your heart be troubled. And he started talking to his disciples. He said, you know, I'm going to go away. And it's better for, you to, for me to go away. And he told him, look, you know the way. For Thomas, actually, I tell him, you know what? Teach us the way. Teach us the way. And I, I think all of us like Thomas. Thomas, the first Sunday after, after uh, the resurrection, he actually was doubting. That's also, I doubt a lot of things in my life. And today, also, Thomas is a very practical man. He said, you know what? Teach us the way. And the Lord responded to him in John chapter 14, verse 6. He said, I am the way the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. I am the way, which means there's no other way in this society, in this life here, will help you. If you want to be in, if you are in trouble, or you are a warrior, the one thing, the only way is Christ himself. He is a way to teach us the right way. And to be honest with you, when you find somebody far away from the church, You always want to tell him this beautiful verse, Christ is the way. He's the only way can help you. Not only that he is the way, but he said, I am the way and eh, the truth. To be honest with you right now, we lost the truth in our society. Can you imagine any one of us here start to say the truth and witness the truth about any issue that we face in our society, especially when it comes to moral issues, especially in moral issue. Just to try to say the truth. And sometimes it's forgiven to say that we are confused between love and the truth. And I always say we're not just only confused between love and the truth, but the problem that we struggle, you and I, every day in our society right now, it's not about the love. I love everyone. But the uh, tolerance. Yes, I love you, but there is a certain way that I cannot tolerate. Even the church teaching, the church dogma, we love everyone. But there's a certain way that the church will not tolerate. Will it stand for what thing? For what? For the truth. That's why the only way can teach us the truth. And I think this is our struggle in our society. Remember one, and I was given a meeting in Staten Island on Thursday night. One of the youth confused about some moral issue in our society. Not to get to it, Yanni. And he told me, what should I, how can I handle it? If I stood for the truth, I'd be the one wrong. 
if I say the truth, you know, I, I, I would be actually judged and I will be accused that I'm judging others. And I told him the problem is not about really the truth, the about that we struggle right now. Tolerance become fadila in our society right now, sadly. Tolerance become a virtual. That this is a different issue. But you know what? I am the way, the truth, and, a, and the life. He's the only way he can help you. If you feel any troubles or any issue in your life, he's the way. If you struggle with anything, he's the only one who can teach you the truth. There's no out. Once you know the way, which once you know Christ, you will be able to witness the truth. And right away, your life will change. He will tell you, I'm the life also. I will help you to live a good life. I will help you to live a good life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father through what? Except through me. Which means nothing will help, will, will, will really, uh, will, will, everything will be in your way. But you only need Christ in everything in your life right now. Christ is the only way he can help you. It's the only way he can teach you the truth. It's the only one can help teach you how to live a true life. And uh, today I just want to focus on the first part. Let not your heart be troubled. Especially I, when I read this verse here, I said this is our struggle. All of us were a warrior. I will give you four things actually to help us not to help us not to be a warrior. Number one, remember that the, our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, instructed us not to worry. Instructed us not to worry. Especially when it comes to one thing. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, he said, Do not, I tell you that, do not worry about what you eat, what you drink, and what you wear. Because one thing, actually, as a mother or a father, you worry about every day, you know, the food, what we're going to cook, what we're going to eat, what we're going to do that. Even this little thing that you worry about every day, which is nothing. Do not worry about it. For the first message, actually, our Lord God, Savior Christ, instructed all of us right now, you know, do not worry about anything. Even do not worry about what you eat, what you drink, what you wear. I will provide. And he gave example. He said, the birds, they fly, and they've been flying in the air. They do not know where they're going to land, where they're going to actually eat. I will provide for them. Number two actually said also, but number one, it's the Lord instructed us not to worry. Number two, take one, one day at a time. It's sometimes it's good when you find so many things going on in your mind, life and your mind, you cannot sleep. Just take it day by day. Take it day by day. I remember a good story about one of the fathers in the monastery. He said, uh, uh, and one of his sons came to him and said, Father, I'm struggling with certain sin. I cannot be a monk anymore. He said, every time I commit, I'm not going to commit to this sin here, I fall again. I fall again. You know, I'm going to leave the monastery and just go to the world and just basically marry, and I don't have to struggle with this sin anymore. But his spiritual father told me, you know what? I want to not worry about it. Just deal with it day by day. In the morning, you wake up in the morning, it's a new day. You pray the morning prayer, you said, let me, it's a new start. And if you fall into sin during the day, no problem. In the end of the night, say, all the sin that I commit to you today, whether indeed by action, submit repentance, and tomorrow is a new day. The story said when I read it, actually, he stayed 25 years struggling, living his life with God day by day. Day by day. For number two, actually, take one day at a time, especially in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, he said, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will come, and actually, how many times you and I will worry about something tomorrow? And uh, you know what? Satan will create something. Number three, actually, do not worry but a pray. The Bible teaches us when you find any hardship or any problem or anything happening in your life, the solution for you is one thing, pray. And this is, you will find it in, Matthew, in Philippi, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, say, don't be a warrior, but in everything, Pray. We need to learn how to pray. One of the good examples for us, Hannah, the mother of, of uh, someone, how she was really sad, worried, upset, anxious, and basically do not know what to do. 
she does not have a child. And she kept crying, crying, crying. She's getting old. And one day she went to the altar and started to pray. The priest saw her, I lied, the priest, and he thought that she's drunk. Allah, are you, stop drinking. I said, no, I'm not a woman full of, I'm not drunk actually. I'm a woman full of sorrow. But I came here to pour my heart to the Lord. I came here to just put my heart to the Lord and talk to the Lord. For right away, the Lord said, don't worry about it. Whatever you ask for, the Lord will grant it. And the Lord will grant her son that she wants. Do not worry about prayer. Number four, cast all your worry on the Lord himself. Cast all his, your worry about the Lord. In First Peter chapter 5, verse 7, he said, Cast all our cares on the Lord, for he cares for you. Any cares that you worry about, put it in the hand of the Lord because he's the one to take care of you and care for you. I hope today that all of us remember one thing. If you worry about anything, remember the message. John chapter 14, verse 6. I am the way, the truth, and, a, and the life. I will just summarize this in Arabic. Just to go over the four things quickly in English. Number one, we said... Uh, instruct, uh, the Lord instructed us not to worry. Number two, take it day by day. Number four, do not worry but pray. Number six, do not worry but pray. Number four, cast all your worry on the Lord Himself. حبيبي النهاردة المز الإنجيل بيتكلم معنا بيقول كده في أول عبارة في النهاردة رسالة جميلة جدا من يوحنا 14 بيقول لا تضطروا قلوبكم ولا إيه ولا تجزا رسالة جميلة جدا بيقول لي لكده لإني أنا الطريق والحق وإيه والحياة ما تخافش أي شيء أنت ورا بوتت اتعلم تمشي معايا أنا علمك الطريق وعلمك تشهد للحق وعلمك إن أنت إيه الحياة كنت نبي نتأمل برضو على أربع حاجات في الإيه إن إحنا لا تضطرب كل وقتكم أو دائما القلب كده مضطرب وتكلمنا على أربع حاجات نمبر ون قلنا إن المسيح حلنا ألا نضطرب وقال كده إيه في متى ستة خمسة وعشرين لا تهتموا بما تأكلون وتشربون ما تهتمش بأي حاجة do not let anything that will make you worry Number two, we talked about on the name in the hood, Kuli on Biom. My told Shamma Bukra. Just to all Hamma Naharda, who will rub the Takun Rata Karabi, Zemam Ulukeda, Aben Lazu, Fimaz, Fiaya Kabardo, Fimata Sitter Bautel, and Dilui, Felata Tamul Red, Badal Red de Lee, Lebe Tamme Bay Lenefso. Number the letter, and who I let a Tamme Bel Sully. Sat Umurgidir Gidden, Wahna for Mustama, the way to be Alan, a Kaifa, and Ukun E. وري دائما ان احنا مشغولين دائما ان احنا ايه دائما يعني عايلين هموم الدنيا كلها في مجتمع صعب جدا الرساله بتقول لك ايه لا تضطرب قلوبكم فنمبر ثلاثة ان ايه لا تهتموا بشيء بل في كل شيء بالصلاه والدعاء مع الشكر وحتى المزمور النهارده لو سمعته الابوزيت بتاع الوري يعني المزمور كان بيقرا للشماس بيقول ايه جيف ثانكس تو ذا لورد يو نو اصل لما تتعلم تدي شكر ربنا كل شويه you are not worried about it. You are not going to be worried about anything. Number four, ضع كل همك ملكينا همك على إيه على ربنا. كنت بتأمل إن الأسبوع ده في مزمور جميل جدا بالذات مزمور خمسة وأربعين. عارفين المزمور ده اللي هو يقول لك أنا واثق إن كلكم عارفين يقول لك إلهنا ملجأنا وقوتنا ومعيننا في شدائتنا التي إيه أصابتنا جدا. يقول له ربي نوى داود النبي دخل كده وقال له رب إلهنا أنت ملجئي. وانت قوتي وانت معيني وانت رب لتستر علي في كل شدائتي بس عجبني قوي في النص بيقول ايه بيقول عبارة جدا لقد قدس العلي مسكنه والله في وسطها فلا ايه فلن تتزعزع ابدا عبارة جميلة جدا قدس يعني ايه على فكرة الله قدس يعني خصصها لي المشكلة اللي انت وري علي دي تخصصت بقت اصبحت مين اصدى ورد قدس مين سنتفاي لما بنبني الكنيسة ونقدس الكنيسة ونتها بالميرون معناها الكنيسة أصبحت ملك مين؟ ملك ربنا فحبت العبارة اللي بيقول النهاردة لقد قدس العلي مسكنها المشكلة اللي عندك والموضوع اللي عندك ده هو تقدس خلاص بقى ما باش بتاعك بقى هو سنتفايت هو دهنها بالميرون وقال لأ خلاص بتدهلت بالميرون إيه فالمشكلة دي بقت بتاعتي أنا لإني بتاعتي أنا الروح القدس هيكون معاها فيقول لي قدس العلي إيه مسكنها والله في وسطها فلن تتزعزع إلى الأبد فعلا ربنا في أي مشكلة هيكون هو اللي فصلتها ويقول لك إيه لا تهتم لا تضطرب قلوبكم ولا تجزع ويرد ويقول إيه لأن أنا هو الطريق والحق 
هو الحياة ولهنا كل مجد والكرامة إلى الأبد آمين